Good morning and welcome to episode six of Cook with Kate. So I'm live streaming every day, every weekday at midday, um, giving you a, inspiration for what to cook during the lockdown, um, just a, a little bit of support. Today we're going to be talking about soups. Um, we are going to make a really lovely creamy sweet corn soup with chicken and mushroom on page 148 of Go Faster Food for Your Active Family. Um, but also we're just going to talk generally about soup because they're just such an easy, easy um, thing to make um, and you can use lots of store cupboard ingredients for them. So perfect, soups are basically perfect for the lockdown. Um, every day we are dedicating the Facebook Live to something relevant to what, what's going on at the moment and today the dedication is to friends and family um, really just like stay in touch with everyone keep reaching out to them um, because I think a lot of people are really struggling at the moment especially as we go into week two of the lockdown it's kind of I think the reality is really setting in for all of us that we could be doing this for a long time. So maybe we should dedicate actually this thing to Zoom. Has anyone discovered Zoom? It's amazing. So um, we've been talking to our kids, my grandparents, anyone can really on Zoom. And I think, uh, you know, stay in touch as much as you can. Um, Right, so we're going to start cooking, I think, otherwise uh, um, you're, you're going to get bored of just talking about what it's like without my children here. Um, so we're going to make uh, this lovely, lovely sweet corn soup. Um, I'm going to make a base of um, uh, an onion, uh, a celery um, and a carrot. Um, I'm going to just saute that in some butter. Um, then I'm going to add some um, uh, mushrooms and some chicken left over from last night's roast chicken, some sweet corn, um, which is just out of tin. Uh, and also we're going to use um, some chicken stock that I've made from the bones of yesterday's roast. Um, the chicken stock, if I just lift this over, oh my goodness, that's so heavy. Um, chicken stock is literally just the bones uh, boiled up for a couple of hours uh, with a stick of celery, an onion, a bay leaf, um, some peppercorns. It's just a very standard stock. So that's a really, really good, good thing to make with any leftovers. If you're a vegetarian, you can just boil up some vegetables with lots of herbs um, and um, really good base for soups really good for risottos. We're going to make a risotto tomorrow, so hopefully there'll be a bit left over for that. Um, but if you haven't got homemade stock, it really doesn't matter. Stock cube is fine. Um, so we're just going to do some chopping. While I'm chopping, I'm just going to um, get this going and see who we've got here. Let's just... This always takes a while. Here we go. Right. Excellent. Um, get the comments coming. Who have we got? Hi Ben. Hi Ben. Hi Gillian. Hello. We are on the front seats. Excellent. <laughs> so today we are talking about soup, Gillian. We're making a creamy chicken and sweet corn soup. I'm going to chop up an onion. Um, I'm going to saute it in some butter. Literally, you don't have to do you don't have to be chop very beautifully because you're going to blend it all later on anyway. So it's literally just a bit of a rough chop. I'm going to chop up this um, celery, hit the end of it, um, and uh, pop that in with the, the butter. You could use oil if you want to save save on your butter situation. Um, I don't need about you, but it seems to disappear quite quickly um, in our household <laughs> and I'm going to put a carrot in. So basically celery, carrot and onion, whatever soup you're making is a good base for the soup and you just um, have to saute it up um, for a few minutes until it quite gently 
gently until it goes soft. Um, and then you can add whatever vegetable you're going to add um, to your soup and then stock. And then you can either have it lumpy or you can blend it. I love a, I love a smooth soup. Um, but if you want to make it chunky, leave it, leave it unblended, that's fine. Um, I think this is, uh, some of you may know about our uh, 5 by 2025 initiative. Just going to turn the oven on, the, the hot plate on rather. Here we go. So 5 by 2025 initiative is that every child or every young person, by the time they leave home, um, should be able to cook five recipes. Um, or just have five recipes under their belt. Nourishing recipes that are going to actually fuel them pro properly for whatever they're, they're going to do after they leave home. You know, whether they go to college or university, um, whatever. Um, and this soup is a really, really good um, one of those five recipes to, to learn. Or any soup, just the basics of being able to just knock up a soup with leftover vegetables that are in the um, in the fridge or in the veg rack and to make a stock um, very very simple very easy and very nourishing um, the sweet corn soup is sweet sweet corn is actually a really good source of fiber so gut friendly fiber and I think that's something that we should be looking at during the lockdown to make sure that our um, that we're eating enough fiber um, and also the sweet corn's got, uh, the, ch the soup's got uh, chicken in it, so nice source of protein as well. Um, so I'm going to cook that for five minutes or so. Um, who have we got? Watch your fingers, you're making me nervous. <laughs> uh, these are fantastic knives. These are Swilling J.A. Henkel's. Uh, Soling, Solingen, Germany. Um, really nice sharp knives, um, which I have a very nice set of. Uh, donated to me by my sister-in-law, Sally. She's very kind of her. Um, so, we have uh, on our website, on gobikes.com, lots and lots of resources that you can, that you can download. Um, the resources, actually, I've got on here. I can show you. Oh, on the computer. If you just go on to gobacks.com, you can download these PDFs. Um, so if you can see there, this one is on vitamins and minerals. Um, we've got one on carbohydrates, on protein, on fats, um, and um, it'll, there's a sort of guide, tutorial that, that will teach you all about the, the different nutrients, um, eating rainbow, eating lots of colours in your diet. Um, so this sweet corn soup is a great, great one for that. Um, and then there's always a recipe at the end of the resource. So please do go to the website and download those resources. They're really, really useful. And I'm just going to turn this down a bit. And also share them. Share them with, with all your friends. Um, we have just had the feedback from last week's um, last week's Facebook Lives, and we have had our page views have gone up 764%, which is pretty amazing. We've reached t over 10,000 um, people organically with no advertising or boosting or anything. Um, we've got 800% more follows, so it's all going swimmingly. So hopefully that means that people are enjoying these recipes and um, and I'm actually uh, being providing a really useful resource for you. So please keep sharing. I think my kids will never leave home. I think they'll know 200 recipes. <laughs> well, as long as they cook for you and don't just sit there on the sofa expecting you to serve them, which I'm sure they don't. Um, but I think that's one, one really good um, sign uh, if, of, of whether you've got your, um, your child inspired to go into the kitchen and that is if you can get them to actually um, cook you lunch, cook you supper without you actually asking, which is fantastic. So maybe um, a, a soup is a really good one to start to start with, really, really easy 
and you can't really go wrong with it. Uh, so that's that. the onion and the, the, the celery and the carrot are sautéing away there. You can see them, that looks really lovely and colourful. If we were talking about the rainbow diet, um, you've already got three colours in here. Um, we're going to then add the stock. Um, so I've had this, I've got this homemade stock that I've made from the chicken that we had uh, for our roast last night. So I'm just going to strain that. Whoop. Strain that off. I'm going to add the stock to the soup. Um, seem to have spilt a bit, never mind. Not too much, luckily. <laughs> Just going to add that stock to the soup and bring it all to the boil. And then when, that, when all the onion and carrots are nice and soft, I'm going to blend that. Then I'm going to add the chicken and the, uh, I'm going to add the sweet corn, then I'm going to blend it. Then I'm going to add the chicken and the mushrooms and just let them cook. So you've got the chicken and the mushrooms as, as lumps in your soup, as it were, but then you've got this lovely sweet corny um, base. Um, Emma Cowper is watching. Hello Emma, how are you? How is it going? How's it going in the lockdown? Uh, please share, you know, share how you're feeling. It's okay not to feel great. Um, I am missing my children like anything. I've actually got a note on my um, little um, crib sheet here saying please don't cry. I'm not going to cry about missing my children, but um, anyone else who's who's um, got, got grown-up children who, are, who they're not with, then I feel for you. It's not very nice. And Zoom it is all very well, but it's not, really, not, not quite the same as the real thing. So I'm just slicing these um, mushrooms to um, add to the soup when everything's cooked. And they'll take about five minutes to cook. I'm going to keep them quite large large, nice, chunky slices. Um, so I'd love to know what your favorite comfort food is. What do you like? Feeding the little one at the minute whilst watching, oh, that's good. To, I mean, soup, talking about little ones, soup is a really good, um, a, a, a good thing for children as well, for teeny children as well as grown-ups, as well as older people. So it's a kind of great family, family food. Um, we had some really um, comments coming through saying that they, they're just absolutely loving what we were doing. We made, uh, on Friday, we had a treat and we made Anzac cookies. Thank you so much to everyone who posted their pictures of their Anzac cookies that they've made. I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, we, certainly, we certainly enjoyed them here. So we've got this, the, the um, soup, uh, here we go, it's just bubbling away there. I'm going to add the sweet corn. So this one got a tin of sweet corn here, just normal box standard tin sweet corn. I'm going to add the juice as well because that's quite tasty and the corn to the mixture. We'll just stir that around a bit. The recipe, we're going to put the recipe up on um, uh, on on this link uh, afterwards, so you'll be able to, 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 to make it yourself. Um, and uh, obviously the recipe is from the book as well. Um, so, let's just have a look. There we go. Great, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna blend this soup with my blender. Um, you can use, um, you can use a, a liquidizer, or I really like a hand blender for, for blending soups. I think it's much, <coughs> much easier. Um, this uh, blender, I think, cost me 9 dollars um, many years ago. I'm just going to move this out of the way so that I don't get it all covered in food. Plug it in. Um, it, it's literally, it's, <laughs> it's probably about 30 years old and it still works. I think I used it for, um, for, when my children were teeny uh, and had, you know, you had to blend, blend the food for them. Uh, there we go. Oh, by the way, our go bites are in stock. 
we still have go bikes in stock so if you'd like to order them please do they're available so they're little energy balls really good because they're a fantastic little sweet snack but they're under 100 calories so if you're not moving all that much they're, they're a good good thing to eat at home again high in fiber um, they're available on muscle food on amazon on our website gobites.com so if you'd like to order them please do um, we have a special discount code for you as well which we'll put on the um uh, on the feed um, and that is energy 10 so 10 percent discount ah who have we got here we've got ben either carrot or coriander or roasted butternut squash soup are my favorite comfort soups i really love butternut squash soup in fact it was a bit of a toss up today between the butternut squash soup and this soup but i've decided that i'm going to do a butternut squash risotto tomorrow uh, instead we use my butternut squash for that and George, love the bag in the background. <laughs> Actually, that wasn't there on purpose, but looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just going to whiz out this soup then. Great take off. The great thing about the sweet corn soup is it goes really nice and smooth and like reduces the lump of yellow colour. You can see in the soup. So hello to anyone who's just joined. Hello Sarah. Getting hungry. You're an inspiration. Well, thank you. <laughs> Trying my best. Trying my best really to make this time of lockdown as enjoyable as possible. Um, and I think it's can you hear me above the um, above the whizzing? Maybe I'll stop whizzing and talk. Trying to basically make this period of lockdown. Um, as, as enjoyable as possible. I'm trying to you know, help out wherever I can. And the place I can help out is in the kitchen because that's where I'm at my most comfortable. And also, you know, it's a great chance to, for you to get into the kitchen and to try out, try out what you can make with you know, the leftover ingredients that you've got. So here we have a nice whizzed up um, base of the soup. I'm now gonna add uh, the mushrooms that I've chopped up. Let's pop them in the soup here. The mushrooms. I'm going to add some of the leftover chicken from last night, um, which is already chopped up. Uh, there we go. I'm going to save a little bit for a sandwich later on. Um, and I'm just going to stir that in and I'm also going to add here um, some nice few big grinds of black pepper um, pop that on, bring that back to the boil um, two, three. and also a nice big, uh, because the, the, it, I've used home stock there hasn't been, there's no salt in that so I'm adding a big um, uh, a big pinch of salt into that soup. Um, if you're using bought stock, you need to be careful because some stock cubes or those little um, ready-made, those little stock um, jelly ones that you can get, uh, they can be really salty. So you might not to add, you might not need to add too much salt. So hello to anyone who's just joined. Nicola, how are you, Nicola, today? Are you managing to get out running? Um, so Nicola is one of our ambassadors um, who is a great, a great fan of chicken, I think, when you run. Don't you have chicken sandwiches or something? Chicken drumsticks when you run. Nicola has just had to cancel her amazing um, adventure, which was basically to run across Australia uh, in 63 days or 63 miles a day. Um, so... Uh, which is a which oh you yeah know, everybody's had to cancel things um, but that you know Nicola has worked so hard towards that uh, that challenge um, and she's going to have to delay it unfortunately Gillian we love what I call my Saturday soup I boil up a small gammon with tinned tomato mm. um, kidney beans butter beans onion garden peas and chopped onions we also like all of your go faster soup recipes too. Oh, actually that sounds really good, the gammon one, delicious. 
Um, you wouldn't need to add any salt to that, would you? Because it's, it's great. So does, does the gammon all like fall apart after you've boiled it? Sounds really good. Uh, Nicola, yes, rum with chicken and avocado rolls. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we've got Georgia Smith as well. Hello, Georgia. How are you? Are you working from home? Um, what, what, what's your favourite lunch? What are you, you going to have for, for lunch today? Um, just a little background to everybody who's joined. Um, uh, my name's Kate Percy. I am founder of um, Kate Percy's Real Fast Food. Everything we do is about good energy. So it's about um, great taste, a smile on the face of friends and family, and the right type of get up and go energy. So whether it's our, our go bites, um, recipe books, or uh, education, it's all about giving you the right type of energy um, to get on with whatever you love doing, whether that's running across Australia, um, uh, working, dancing, you know, walking, working in the garden, um, whatever it is that you love doing. Um, we're focusing a little bit um, less on high carbohydrate meals over this lockdown because we are all a bit more sedentary um, but uh, please join me every day I'm going to be live streaming every day at midday um, for, um, for some recipe inspiration tomorrow is a risotto Wednesday is a tray bake Thursday we're going to make a black bean chilli and Friday we're going to do, um, it's curry, curry Friday, so we're going to do a salmon um, with a sabaloo, so spinach and potato um, curry, which is really lovely. Um, so please join us every day and please, please share, where, um, please share with all your friends and family. Today is dedicated to friends and family, um, to all those that we're missing, um, to all, all those who are struggling, so please reach out to reach out to, to, to everybody and um, just give them a ring, give them a ring or Zoom or Skype or what, whatever you, you love doing. Mmm, chilli, yeah, no, the gammon cooks so nicely. I take it out and slice it up for sandwiches with the soup. Ah, oh, great idea, I love it. So what are your comfort foods? What are your favourite comfort foods? Even if it's not soup, I'd love to know. So we've got the soup here, it's been bubbling away. I would leave that really for um, about uh, another 10 minutes normally to, to cook. Um, I'm just going to leave it for a few more minutes while I chop up some parsley. I've got this really nice fresh parsley from our local veg shop, um, which I, uh, I, I went to this morning. Um, Nobody else was there, and he literally has so much vegetables, so many vegetables. Um, so if you can support your independent shops um, when you get when you go out, maybe as part of your daily exercise. Um, I think all these all these independents. Well, we all we all need all the support we can get. Um, so I'm just going to chop up some parsley to um, to add to the soup. Um, and then it's pretty much done. Uh, it's, it's, that, that is how easy soups are. I mean, if you if you were making, for instance, a butternut squash soup or a spinach soup or a pumpkin soup, um, all you need to do is just uh, cook up that basic onion, carrot, and celery um, uh, it, with with a little butter or oil. Uh, and then um, stir in the vegetable that you want to. If I was doing a butternut squash soup or a pumpkin soup, I'd probably roast the squash first in the oven as well, maybe with a little cumin or um, uh, spices, uh, and that, that kind of deepens the flavour, makes it really, really nice. Excuse fingers. There we go. Right, so I'm going to pop in the parsley into the soup. And I'm going to pour it into a bowl, and that will be our lunch. The great thing about doing these um, Facebook lives every every midday, as I can pull out one of these, um, is that we always have a really tasty lunch at lunchtime, <laughs> which my husband Mark is very pleased about. So I'm just going to spoon this in, so that you can see. This, I mean, this would taste really lovely with 
um, a uh, hunk of nice fresh bread. I'm going to hold this in front of the screen in a sec. I'm just going to add it a little bit more parsley on top and some little bit more black pepper. I'm just going to taste it for salt actually. You should always taste your food um, uh, and just to check that it's got enough flavouring in it. Actually that really doesn't need anything else. I think the, the sweet corn is so, has got so much flavour. We don't really need much, um, and, the, and the, the homemade stock as well just makes it really, really, really lovely. So that, now can, if I hold that there, can you see that? Can you let me know if you can see it? Love something on a dal theme as well. Ah, yes. So that is the soup, the sweet corn, chicken sweet corn and mushroom soup. Um, yes, I love, I love a lentil, a lentil soup. In fact, in the book, we've got, that was another strong contender for today, actually, uh, a really lovely um, spicy lentil and tomato soup with crispy trefo on top. Um, lentils are really, really good, really good store cupboard ingredients. So if you've got any lentils in your cupboard, um, make a dal or make a, a lovely lentil soup. Um, they're just delicious and you can get all different types. I like a red lentil in a soup. Um, I like a pui lentil, so mm, oh, something like this. So these little green pui lentils uh, are really nice in a salad. You see, they're kind of a little bit, um, they don't kind of mush down quite so uh, well as red lentils, but they're really good in a salad. Um, dal is also really good with the yellow lentils. I'm not going to get all my lentils out of my cupboards, but um, yellow, yellow lentils are, oh, they're all the way up the top, but they are really, really good as well. So play about with all the different lentils that you can, that, you, that you've got. Um, when you go to the supermarket at the moment, there's not much there in terms of long life foods, but you might find some odd type of lentil like right at the back of the empty cupboard um, empty shelf which is actually what what happened to me the other day um i came home with some bizarre things so yep yeah, let's just have a look at these uh these mm, chili yeah yeah the chili the black bean chili is again one of my five minute recipes as well so we can make it really quickly because we're going to use tinned black beans um, really, really healthy, really high in fibre too. Um, so, a couple of things, please share, please share this video um, and share the news that I'm going to be live streaming every day, that would be fantastic. Also, we're on Instagram as well and on Twitter, so join us on, on, on Instagram and Twitter as well as Facebook. Um, uh, download the resources on gobites.com. Um, really really useful stuff and they've got each one's got a recipe at the end um uh, which is easy to do with with i mean it's a nice recipe in itself for, for you for the family but it's recipes that are suitable for young people to cook as well um get your kids involved um and hashtag cook with kate if you ever whenever you're talking about us it would be really really good um the handle again for Twitter and Instagram is at Kate Percy's. And uh, that's it. But just have a look. Have you got any more um, any more questions? Just check I've answered them all. Carrot and coriander. What are you feeding? Emma, what are you feeding your little one whilst watching? <laughs> Brilliant. Well, Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, any comments, um, please please leave them in the comments section. And also, we're going to post this recipe up on the um, on on the feed as well. So really look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Um, please join me at midday uh, for episode seven, in fact, uh, of the lockdown recipes. Bye bye. <laughs>